So here it is. Spaghetti, aglio e olio with the chiffonade of basil and the white wine like I told you about. I don't know how it's going to be, but let's taste it and find out. Oh, God. This is one of my favorite pastas, as I've uh, mentioned before. Oh, by the way, if you like what you see here and you enjoy what I've done for you, please like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button, click the bell so you'll get uh, notifications when I post new videos. And so here we go with this. Oh, as always, all the ingredient amounts and everything are going to be found on my website, gsargenti.com. G-S-A-R-G-E-N-T-I, gsargenti.com. You know, when I'm in Naples, the Neapolitans ask me, how do you make spaghetti a uh, olio? And this is the way. Now you know. Mm. Wow. That quarter pepper adds enough heat. The garlic is in there, but there's not big pieces. It's inobtrusive. Obviously, the olive oil flavor is there, but I'll tell you what happens here. The white wine really adds another dimension to it. Now, I use the Chardonnay. Because I don't have, that's typically what I have around here. I don't use uh, Pinot Grigio. I don't, I don't have those things. But I use in the cooking the same wine that I would drink. All right? That's what you should do. And then the herbaceousness from the chiffonade of the parsley. Mmm. Oh. That's so good. Tell me, what do you think? Comment below. Tell me what you think. You like it? You don't like it? You don't think it's good? You're never going to try it? Or perhaps you'll try it and love it? Or maybe I gave you a new idea. Something to that effect. But please, comment. Comment anyway. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Ah, oh, this is so good. Now remember, with this type of pasta, there is no cheese because cheese was very expensive in the old days. The poor people of Naples never used cheese on this type of pasta. But what you can put on there is uh, breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, they would take stale bread and they would toast it or they would just put it on, uh, they would actually sometimes put it in the pasta itself. And that is a legitimate way of, uh, of adding an additional item to this, All right? White wine, of course, is not traditional, but let me tell you, it adds a dimension that is absolutely delicious to this particular dish. Hmm. You gotta make it. You gotta try it. There's no other way. I mean, what? You follow what I tell you to do, and I'll have you farting in between silk sheets. Well, okay, well, maybe maybe you won't have the sheets, but um, it'll be a good pasta. You'll serve this to anybody, any Italian, and they'll be like, you know what? That's delicious. So if you were here, I'd share it with you. But the best thing that I can do right now is take you into the kitchen so that we can learn how to make it. Uh, but not before I have another bite. <laughs> Mm. Okay, that's enough. Come on. Let's get out of here. Let's go in the kitchen. All right, let's get started. You know me. We have a sauce pot for our spaghetti. And we're all going to use four cups of water. Why? because we want the starch to leach out into the water because we're gonna use that starch a little bit later in the pasta, in the final dish, to create an, a semi-permanent uh, emulsion, kind of a creaminess. It's gonna lend a creaminess to the pasta. So, water onto boil. 
All right, so the water's boiling, and you know what we do. If you know me, you know that we're going to put exactly two teaspoons of regular table salt into the water. No more, no less. Four. Let's rinse that out to get all of that salt in there. And you don't want to add the salt uh, prior to the water boiling, because what that will do in time, it will pit. It will cause the metal in the pan to pit, and you don't want that. All right? So there you go. We got the water at a rolling boil with the salt inside. Four cups, two teaspoons of salt. All right, now let's turn our attention to what we're doing today. We're making spaghetti aglio e olio. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time with uh, white wine, okay, which is acceptable. So, we have our oil, which, of course, if you know me by now, you know it's 100% California olive oil. We have our garlic. That's the aglio in the aglio e olio. We have a, a half of a, actually a quarter of a, a hot pepper. We have some parsley stems. You'll see how we're going to use all of this. We have the parsley leaves that we're going to use as a garnish and some white wine. About a little bit more than a quarter cup is going to be enough. And of course, we have a very high quality spaghetti here. So let's get to it. In our saute pan, we are going to, or skillet, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be very generous with the oil. Believe it or not, this is aglio e olio for a reason. It's garlic and oil. It is a peasant dish from Naples, and it's extremely simple and uses very few ingredients. So there we go. There is about enough oil for two portions, which is what we're making today. I'll turn on the heat. And we don't want the heat on too high. We kind of want it on uh, medium. We're going to put in our pepper, which I put in face down because the capsaicin is on the inside. That, that, this part right here, along with the seeds, has the hottest uh, part of the pepper. And we're going to remove the pepper a little bit later. But right now, I want that in there so that we can get a little bit of heat. Then we're going to add some parsley stems for flavor as well. Believe it or not, there's a lot of flavor in the parsley stems. And we're going to do something a little bit differently than normal. We're going to add our garlic in, but I'm going to use a garlic press. I don't normally like to use a garlic press, but in this case, I'm going to because we want the garlic to literally melt and or if you want to call it dissolve into that oil. All right. And I have about one and a half cloves. Typically, it's going to be one clove per person. Um, or more. This is one of those Italian dishes where you can use whatever amount of garlic that you feel, well, to a certain extent, that you feel that you're going to like. Typically, garlic in Italian food is used very, very sparingly, and it's removed uh, before the dish is completed. It's not chopped and put inside, but there we go. So now, that uh, that's going to going to be left to cook very very slowly and we're going to make sure that the garlic dissolves into the oil all right we don't want any chunky pieces that's uh, the difference here and of course we're going to add white wine and you'll see the garnish as well now I've already gone ahead with the flat leaf parsley and I have removed everything except for the leaves so what we're going to do is we're going to make this into a chiffonade which i'll show you how to do but what i need to do first is literally stack all of these leaves one on top of the other and when i when i do that we'll be right back so now you can see that i've stacked all of these leaves one on top of the other and I'm going to fold them over like this and hold them down while we take the knife and cut ribbons very, very fine 
ribbons out of the parsley leaves. And that is what is called chiffonade. Okay, this sort of thing. Okay, our water is at a rolling boil. We're now going to add our pasta into there. It seems like a lot of pasta for this amount of water. But like I told you, we are going to wait about 30 seconds and let the water soften the spaghetti strands. You can see how they're bronze dyed. I don't know if you can tell from uh, looking on the video, but there are these, it's beautifully, it's a beautiful pasta. It's very, very high quality. And we're gonna, this is gonna be al dente in about 10 minutes because it's a better quality pasta. Lower quality pastas, depending on the thickness, will uh, always uh, be al dente or cooked a lot faster. So this is gonna take about 10 minutes. We're gonna leave it in for about seven and then remove it. And now once the uh, pasta is softened, all you need to do is take one of these pasta forks and work the macaroni, which is a generic term for pasta as well, into the, into the water. Now, you need to stir it more in the beginning than you do at any other time. Once the starch, once the starches gel, then the pasta will not stick. It's a misnomer that the water has to be at a rolling boil and that has to be a lot of water and this and that and the other thing. That's all poppycock. Don't believe that. Don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. Now you'll notice that this has been cooking away. I just turned up the heat. It's been cooking very, very slowly up until now. And we, what we don't want to do, I'm going to turn down the flame. What we don't want to do is uh, brown the garlic. The garlic has to remain uh, white and not browned at all. And these items here are lending flavor to the oil. And the garlic will literally melt or vanish into the oil in just a couple of minutes. You'll see. Let's turn down the heat while the pasta cooks. And now I'm going to add a little bit of white wine. You can see that the oil was not that hot to begin with. It didn't make any sort of a, you know, a sound when it went in there, which is exactly what we want. Now we're going to bring it up to a boil because with the wine inside, it will arrest the cooking on the, uh, the garlic and the peppers. And you will see that slowly, mm, that's a beautiful perfume that I'm getting off of the saute pan. With the wine and the garlic. And you will, we're going to wait until this reduces out and, uh, and the pasta is ready. Then we're going to use the pasta water uh, to give it sort of a thickening. What we want to do here is essentially cook the alcohol out of the wine and reduce it down in order to concentrate its flavors. And it's going to add another dimension to our dish. It's taking it from a cucina povera dish, uh, a poor person's dish, to something a little bit more refined, as you'll soon see. So I've made for you the classic one. I've made an authentic uh, Neapolitan style. And I've made a more refined one. This is a refinement in a different way by being a little bit more sophisticated with flavor. The pasta is almost ready, so what we'll do is we're going to take out the stems and the pepper. And you can see that the, uh, the wine is reducing down. In fact, it's almost gone and we're almost right back to our oil. And when that happens, in about half a minute or so, the, our pasta is going to be ready. And of course, by this time, all of the alcohol has been cooked out. So now our pasta is ready. We're going to add it into the pan. And you can, you can hear the sizzling. That means that the, the wine has essentially reduced down into nothing. And we're left with just for mostly oil. It's not completely reduced to nothing. 
but it's mostly oil. And now we're going to add this in here. Let me get all of the pasta. That should do it. And now we're also going to add pasta water into this, into the mix to help it finish cooking. Now you notice how murky the pasta water is, and that's because there's a tremendous amount of starch in there, which is essentially what we wanted from the beginning. And you'll see as this thing cooks that the pasta will soak up the water and the wine and the oil. And if we move it back and forth like this, you'll also notice that we're getting a creaminess to the spaghetti, to the pasta itself. All right? That's exactly what you want. You don't have to be able to, to, toss the, uh, to toss the pasta. Just moving it back and forth with one hand and stirring with the other hand is going to be enough to accomplish what you want to do here, okay? But if you want to practice sautéing or doing this, you can. It's not strictly necessary. And believe it or not, for most households, <laughs> it's going to cost. Uh, it's going to cause a mess. So here we go. Now let's just uh, let's give it a taste and see where we're at with this stuff. I think we're pretty close. Oh yeah, it's perfectly done. Let's plate it up. Remember our chiffonade of parsley? We're just going to add a little bit of chiffonade of parsley on top of there. And that, my friends, is going to create a very, very sophisticated and special dish that you could serve to any Italian and justify why you've done everything the way that you have. Enjoy. Thank you. So there you have it. Spaghetti, aglio e olio, that's done in a different way with a reduction of white wine and chiffonade of parsley. Let me tell you, you got to make it. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button. Yay! And then hit the subscribe button. I hate to say this stuff, but you got to do it on YouTube. So please do me a favor. If you liked it, like and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you'll get notifications. And if you got an extra second or two, Put a comment down at the bottom. Let me know what you think, okay? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.